I've been following the Azim Rafiq story for about a week now, where his accusations of institutional racism against the Yorkshire County Cricket Club had resulted in an investigation and there was evidence of inappropriate behavior which then caused the chairman and the CEO of the Yorkshire County Cricket Club to resign. Charges of racism by a high profile athlete generally make it to the headlines, but this story took a sharp turn yesterday when it emerged on Twitter and social media that Azim Rafiq himself had sent anti-Semitic Facebook messages a few years earlier. My initial reaction to this was amazement at the sheer hypocrisy of the situation. But after thinking about it for a minute or two, the facts are that human beings are full of paradox and contradiction. In fact, our very existence is a marriage of opposites. We're composed of a body and a soul, spirituality and physicality, and on some level, we're all guilty of this. The key is to realize that we're built on paradox and we're hardwired for contradiction. But honestly, it's not always hypocrisy. Sometimes it's called inconsistency. We have to recognize that the good in others and the good in ourselves should not be discounted simply because of our imperfections. I'm not making excuses or passing judgment on any of Azim Rafiq's actions. And the main lesson here clearly is clean your own room first. But it's important to bear in mind the only consistent human being is the one that's six feet under. We live in a world of inconsistency and our mission is not to be perfect. Our mission is to do everything we can at any given time to ensure that it's our spiritual side that's calling the shots. Getting back to the latest development in the Azim Rafiq story, throwing a blanket of hypocrisy over the saga is not the solution. We need to compartmentalize and understand that in the same way that his allegations against the Yorkshire County Cricket Club were taken seriously, investigated and acted upon, these new allegations against him also need to be investigated, taken seriously and acted upon in the same way.